good afternoon everyone today i am going to present our paper identification of mycotic hyphae using smartphone and pocket magnifier a multicentric study uh, there is no financial disclosure fungal keratitis is one of the most difficult forms of microbial keratitis for the ophthalmologist to diagnose and treat successfully inappropriate treatment by potent antibiotics lead to antibiotic resistance and painful blind eye problems encountered in case of fungal keratitis include establishing the correct clinical diagnosis and obtaining confirmation of the fungal organisms on laboratory diagnosis direct microscopy is a major tool for rapid diagnosis of fungal keratitis but this basic tool tool or a microbiologist is not routinely available in most health centers in india the average size of a filamentary fungus varies from 2 to 10 mm in width smartphone based microscope can be used as low cost device for evaluation and providing diagnostic support at the point of care so our objective was to detect mycotic hyphae in corneal scraping of suspected fungal corneal ulcer patients using a cost effective device of smartphone and pocket magnifier Uh, it was an hospital based cross sectional observational study study period was from october 2020 to november 2022 there were three tertiary centers of ophthalmology of eastern india sample size was 500 inclusion criteria being corneal ulcer patients with history of injury with vegetable matter presenting for first time to opd exclusion criteria being patients on antimicrobial therapy and diagnostic algorithm was corneal scrapings obtained from corneal ulcer patients with history of injury with vegetable matter was stained with gram stain and 10% ko stain it was imaged with smartphone coupled with compact pocket magnifier digital photographs were acquired using smartphone camera through the pocket magnifier an integrated light emitting di uh, diode assembly pictures of multiple section of slides were examined using smartphone screen and using zoom function up to 10x Pocket magnifier is a battery operated device it has an eyepiece where the smartphone camera aperture can be placed opposite the aperture is the objective complex with a central lens surrounded by led encased in a transparent box the plastic box lies in a direct contact with glass ga, glass slides it was the camera specifications results being uh, male were more commonly affected agricultural workers and uh, age between 20 to 50 year people are more commonly affected and rural people are more commonly affected coming to reliability our sensitivity was 75.83% and specificity was 88.79% Similar study done by Dipali et al. Uh, there was their sample size was 60, where our uh, sample size was 500. And uh, with uh, fungal life, we found with compound light microscope, our study found about 78.66 percent, where they found 76.66 percent. We used as uh, pocket magnifier as method. They used full scope. Uh, fungal hyphae found with pocket magnifier was 62.66 percent, that is 310 out of 500. They found 34 out of 60 percent, that is 56 percent. These are some clinical pictures, um, and uh, we found here smartphone mount, smartphone mounted pocket magnifier showing fungal hyphae. Coming to conclusion, it is a quick, portable, co cost-effective, and novel technique. It can be implemented in peripheral health centers where light microscopes or microbiologists are not available. In periphery healthcare center, technician, paramedical staffs can use these techniques so the early diagnosis and appropriate treatment can be done. Smartphone image acquisition, online image comparison, or wireless transport. for expert opinion can become a practical reality like telemedicine limitation there is only a preliminary step in digital imaging of infectious organisms using readily available handy equipment refinement in technology like better lens quality improved shutter speed sensors would eventually translate into images with better resolution thank you Thank you. Did you have any challenges or any um, limitations that you would like to mention? Um, actually, we we have very small sample size. That is only five hundred. Also, uh, in periphery, we cannot do corneal scraping, so need ophthalmologist. Uh, 